I'm Chris Luffingwell with VIP Technology Solutions Group. I'm here with Wes Spencer from Cripple Creek Construction. We've got Kevin and Chad back in the background. Chad's with Rudiman Architecture. And uh, this afternoon or this morning, we're talking about some changes that we needed to make. Obviously, we're in the framing stages. We bought a, an existing bank building. It was built in 1999. This is going to be the new VIP corporate office. We'll have about 11,000 square feet under roof of office space. And what we did is we took an existing drive through We got with uh, Cripple Creek and we said, hey, how can we use this as office space and long story short we're expanding the roof line down to match the existing office area and then from there we're going to build out and frame out as you can tell we've already got this framed out well one of the things we wanted early on was we'd like we want to do acoustic ceiling throughout it didn't stay within budget and uh, so we made some changes that were going to uh, achieve some things with the existing sheetrock that was under this drive through uh, yesterday we got a phone call, kind of a last minute change where Wes had done some, some math and some thinking about some stuff and it really worked out to our benefit. So I'll let him explain what we came up with, but we're very happy with the result. So basically uh, going through what the initial value engineering was uh, to keep the maintain the existing uh, ceiling. And so at that point, the desire was always to have the acoustical ceiling. So once we got in here, actually did the demo, we, we got to see uh, at a, a bird's eye view exactly what we were contending with. So in looking at that, we said, hey, I think we can accomplish this, still give the ceiling height. So the original ceiling height for the two wings that we've added uh, were eight foot six and then ultimately uh, having a desire of 10 to 11 feet in the center mid to give it a more open presentation. So in doing that, uh, we decided that we could accomplish that and do it at a net zero dollar to the ownership because it's less uh, mud and tape for the hard lid ceiling, you know, the rental of a lift, you know, all these things came into play that offset the, the counterbalance of giving than the ACT or the drop ceiling, if you will. So one of the things we ran into was a couple of uh, small areas where they had a design for a drop area. And so we've been able to uh, take that into consideration and maintain with the desired effect and give it the, the lipstick or the eye candy that they were desired. So in doing that, we were able to accomplish this for uh, Jackson Switch and VIP uh, at a net zero dollar to them. So Wes, thanks for that explanation. And and again, I think it's awesome that we achieved the result we we're ultimately looking for at the beginning. We get exactly what we wanted and it's our cost doesn't go up. We stay exactly where we're budget wise. Now we had to go, okay, let's talk to the architect and see what does that mean to him? How does that impact him? And we got to talk to the on-site supervisor and say, what does that mean to you? He's a project manager. Say, what does that mean to you, Kevin? And how does that change anything for you? So this is Chad Walker with Weirdman Architect. And so once we ran this change by you, what did that, what did that, did that present any issues for you, questions, concerns, uh, and then kind of walk us through what that felt like for you? Yeah, it was just an opportunity for you guys to be able to have a little better functionality of the space if we can switch to an acoustic tile versus having the jib so we get a little bit better sound quality out in a large open space uh, but also the the biggest kicker is not having to have a cost that comes into play and this was in your original drawings too i believe yeah yeah so, okay cool and then kevin how about you as far as project overall uh, how did that impact you did that make any significant changes or difficulties? Uh, we'll adjust our logistics accordingly and that way we'll make sure we've got the right amount of material on site and we'll update drawings and the uh, framers and the installers to where they know the new plans. Okay. And we've already had a, a, an off-camera meeting going through all of the different components uh, of how does this affect the lighting plan, how does this affect the HVAC plan, how does this affect all the different trades that may be involved in this change. And uh, it's kind of amazing to watch how each each one of these guys brought their field of expertise to the table of these are the things you need to consider when we do this and here's how it's going to impact the next trade in line and we made accommodations for that to happen and again it wound up not costing any more money pretty amazing